What's going on, people? Welcome to the first official playing with plugins.com post launch video. Today, I'm going to show you something very simple, but it's going to be very beneficial to you. Um, as you know, our recording programs these days, they allow you to import your virtual instruments so you can use them in your recordings like so. But the only way this works is if you let your recording program know where your virtual instruments are. The procedure is pretty much the same in all recording programs, but in Ableton, you go to options, preferences, file folder, and down here in plugin sources, uh, you can rescan your plugins. You can turn on or turn off your custom folder and you can actually set the location for your custom folder. And as you can see, it's an F drive VST plugins. Now let me show you something. Uh, I'm actually on a PC because I like to build and customize my own computers. As you can see, I have four separate hard drives. I have the local hard drive, which actually has the recording, I'm um, sorry, the uh, operating system, the recording hard drive, instruments hard drive, and games hard drive. If you have the money, and if you have the ability, or you know someone who can do this for you, I highly recommend you do a setup like this, simply because if anything ever goes wrong with your main hard drive, which actually gets the most usage. Anything goes wrong there, your recordings and your instruments are separate from that and they're safe. It's very easy to take those hard drives out, put them in an external enclosure or even put them in your next computer. So keep that in mind. In the case that you don't have multiple hard drives, it's all good. You can just create an instruments folder and this tutorial will work the exact same way for you. Now, when you're installing VSTs, it's very important that you install and route everything properly. That being said, there's two very important parts to this instrument's hard drive. Number one, you come in here and you actually see all of my folders are listed by vendor. And when you go into these folders, you see all of the instruments that I have installed from that vendor. Go into these folders, you're going to see the database, library, and anything that's very important to that particular instrument. Now, the second part is this folder right here, VST plugins. Now, when you go into this folder, you're going to see a very similar setup to what we just saw. But once you go into these folders, you see these files that end in .dll. These are your plugins. OK, these are your plugins. When you're installing VSTs, your installer is going to ask, where do you want your library? Where do you want your plugins? So it's very important that you have a setup like this. Very important. Another thing that you'll notice, all of my instruments I have installed on my computer are in this folder. Most recording programs will only allow you one uh, location for your virtual instruments folder. Even if you do have the option of doing multiple locations, it's still a lot easier to have everything in one folder. Trust me on that. So to review, when you're dealing with VSTs, you need to have separate folders for your library and your plugin. Also, it's best if you can have a separate hard drive for your virtual instruments. But if not, at least create a folder and install every single virtual instrument you have in that folder. And it doesn't hurt to list them by vendor. That being said, if you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel and visit the website at playingwithplugins.com. See you next time.